Welcome back to uh, Got Wire. Today I have the Cloud Gateway Fiber. I thought we'd unbox it and do some testing on it and see how it is. And full transparency, Ubiquity didn't send this to me. I bought it with my own funds, so all my opinions are my own. So in saying that, let's get it unboxed. So what you get in the box is you get your Cloud Gateway Fiber. It has four 2.5 gig ethernet ports on the back. And then it has two uh, SFP Plus ports on the back, one for WAN and the other for LAN, but you can also move the WAN port to one of the 2.5 gig ports if you wanted. It has a little LCD screen on the front, tells you the throughput. It has a power adapter here, and then it has power cord that plugs into the little power adapter here. It comes with a template if you want to mount it to the wall, and then it has little feet here that you can put on the bottom if you're just gonna set that on a desk. And then it has a cool little ethernet cable it comes with, just a short little ethernet cable, but it's uh, braided. So instead of it being that plastic, it's braided material. So it feels kind of nice. And this Cloud Gateway Fiber Well Run Unified Protect. It has a little door here on the side. You can get a M2 SSD tray for $20 and use your own M2 SSD and install it in there. And you can connect your Protect cameras up to this. Of course, you have to use a PoE injector or a PoE switch to power the cameras because all these ports here are non PoE. And with IDS and IPS turned on, it'll route at five gigabit bits per second versus what if it turned off the full 10 gigabit per second. It can manage 50 plus unified devices, 15 HD cameras, 8 2K cameras, and only 5 4K cameras. So if you were just using this for your house and just had a couple cameras, this would be great. But if you're using it for like a bigger business for their cameras, I would definitely get one of their other gateways that can handle more cameras. And along with running Protect, it can run Access, it can run Talk, and it can run connect. Well, I got everything set up on the cloud gateway fiber. On the back here, it actually has a 10 gig RJ45 WAN port, so you can use that if you wanted. But I got a fiber cable here from my ISP's modem, plugged straight into the WAN port here with a SFP Plus module. And then I have my laptop connected on the 2.5 gig port here. So we'll switch over to my laptop and I'll show you setting it up and configuring it. So when I plugged up my laptop, this is what popped up when I opened up my web browser. But if that didn't pop up for you, you can open up your command prompt and type in ipconfig. And the default of normally any Unify gateway is 192.168.1.1. So you just type that into your web browser. 192.168.1.1. Gives you this cool animation. And then you can name it. I'm just going to leave it as UCG Fiber. And then you can create a UI account or if you already have one, you can either proceed without one or you can sign in to one if you already have one. I already have one, so I'm going to log into mine real quick. It's asking me if I want to restore from a backup. I'm going to go ahead and continue without backup since this is a new one. It's running a speed test. I do have 2 gig internet with AT&T fiber. 2 gig down and 2 gig up. And normally the upload speed with AT&T fiber isn't the greatest, but still 1 gig is still pretty fast. And the results of the speed test are basically 2 gig down and one gig up so we'll hit next here configuring the gateway so we'll give this a second and it got done now we'll go ahead and hit go to dashboard hit advance accept risk and of course it's got to update so we'll wait for this to update and i'll get back to you once it gets done and of course it's got to update this is what it pops up with after you log in i got this down here hiding my wan ip but it's just standard ubiquities interface um there's other videos that i've made explaining how to adopt devices and stuff but we'll go ahead and just run a speed test and see what we get out to the internet see if it's my full 2 gig it looks like it was when it set it up i'm going to go ahead and use speedtest.net so we'll run the speed test here and we got 2 gig down and only 500 up 500 up i think it's either my sfp adapter or at&t i got the command prompt open now i figured we'd run an iperf speed test uh, on here i have to run this as a server for some reason on my desktop it won't let me run the server on there so i'm just gonna run it on here so you type in iperf 3 s and that's the server part and then i'm gonna go to my other computer and run the client part all right, and with that test, it looks like we got 2.97 gigabit per second. I'm going to try to run it with some more streams and see if we can get any faster. Right, they gave us a little bit more speed. With this one, I ran 4, and with this last one, I ran 8. So between 4 and 8, there's not basically no difference. 
so it looks like the max that I was able to get at the route was 3.25 gigabit per second. Now you guys' mileage might vary. If you get one of these and do it, uh, drop in the comments. Let me know how fast you're able to get yours to go. So all in all, I really like this cloud gateway fiber. It's a really powerful device, especially if you don't have a rack and you just want to set it somewhere like a regular router. And I love the fact that it has so many 10 gig ports here on the back and you have a 2.5 gig switch. That way you're not limited to slow gigabit speeds. And then 2025, I think everything should at least be 2.5 gig or higher. And I really like the fact that they put a screen here on the front. I like how you can see the throughput as you're using it. I think that's kind of cool. It's a little niche thing, I guess, that they do. But thanks for watching. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. So if you're not subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. If you did, go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you didn't like. Ask questions. If you have any network questions, maybe I can help. But thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one.